Hey guys, uh, what's up? We're gonna do a book review on Danielle Steele, Country. I actually liked this book. I did have um, some problems in the beginning and I kinda ranted about that a little bit. Hey guys, I am just gonna do like a really quick, just, I just wanna let you guys know how I'm feeling right now because I've got some feels that I just feel like I need to get the feels out. So I'm reading Danielle Steele Country and Danielle Steele, like I love you girl and I still have to buy, well not buy, but I still have to get all your books, but I have some major problems with you. I went on Goodreads and somebody had mentioned that she starts a lot of her sentences with end, with the word end, A-N-D. And I'm like, okay, going through and I'm like, holy crap. Like there's one paragraph where I'm gonna say she at least started three, maybe four sentences with the word end. Like what are you doing? Then I'm going through and I just have like a major problem with this, right? Like her husband dies and they talk about leaving from the vacation that they're on and it's her and her friends and they're all leaving in their Porsches, their Mercedes, they're just name dropping a whole, and I'm, I don't understand why you're name dropping expensive names like that right there. I'm just, it just seems weird, it feels weird. <sighs> then I'm going through here and she meets the country singer, right? Cause that's ultimately what this book is about. They're walking but there's no descriptive, there's nothing descriptive in the book, right? Like I'm looking for, describe like how good looking he is, like what he's wearing, like his boots, be, descript be descriptive, be descriptive. They're walking the Grand Canyon, like give me some descriptive stuff about the scenery and the nature and the sounds and just, just give me something like that. And I don't know if this is lacking in her older years or if it has always been lacking in her books, right? Because I used to read Danielle Steele when I was in high school because like, who didn't? And then I just stopped reading her books and I'm going back to them now. I'm just having some major issues with her. I'm just, I'm having major issues. I'm all about the feels, right? There's lots of feelings in here. But then I'm also wondering, maybe Danielle Steele is the problem of why I overthink every freaking thing in my life. She just repeats herself a lot. This is probably why I ramble the way that I do. Thank you, Danielle Steele, for helping me ramble throughout my entire life. So, I don't know. I'm, I just got to chapter seven. So I'm still early in the book, I'm only 86 pages in, but I'm just, I'm having some issues. You're supposed to be my girl, but I'm having some issues. So I'm going to keep reading this, but it's kind of like how I'm feeling right now. Digger's got some feels too, apparently. But I do think it is a pretty good book. There were... There were a few, a little bit more than a few, it, the, the character list wasn't too bad. It was easy to follow. Um, the beginning started out pretty, I mean, it, it kind of jumped in in the beginning. So it didn't drag on that much, but the beginning was a little bit annoying because I felt like they were um, like a brand's signifying a little bit too much and it was in weird places so let me just tell you this book Daniel Steele one of what used to be one of my favorite authors however she's lacking where I'm lacking something has changed but I still really liked this book I think that the concept was pretty cool um, just to kind of give you a simple background that's non-spoiler, we go through and Stephanie 
is married and her marriage is not the greatest her husband cheated on her and he left her and then um the woman that he was with was also married and she says i'm not leaving my husband for you and he ended up going back home with stephanie and they lived a miserable life together <laughs> it was more like they were roommates so they end up going on these couples trips with some other friends of theirs that are couples. Um, each couple has, you know, their obviously own relationship and those relationships, um, you know, one is like really good and then one is like not so good. And it's more of like a money, um, marriage of money and convenience. So there's that. Um, Stephanie's husband dies while they are um, on a trip and that's kind of how the book jumps off that's like what happens and throughout the book it's basically hard trying to figure out and learn how to live a life with her adult kids who are no longer home and she's like just left alone because her whole life was taking care of her kids and then taking care of her husband now they're all gone and she's just trying to figure that out and she ends up meeting a country music star which is kind of like one of those weird things like oh you just happen to meet like one of the most popular most popular country music stars of like that time and he just is single and happens to like fall in love with you kind of thing but it is good. It's got some good ideas and a good concept around it about like trying to figure yourself out and um, realizing that you're trying to find, really she's trying to find her place in the world after, after her husband died. And that's kind of like what this whole book is about. There were some pretty good quotes in here. I have my little tabs that are here and... <laughs> As you can see, I mean, the pink is the things that I like connected with or things that I loved in the book. Um, purple is for funny points. There were a couple funny points towards the end. There weren't, a, there wasn't a whole lot of funny in here though. But there were a few little points that kind of like jumped out at me and made me chuckle. And then there's quite a bit of quotes. Quotes is what I put in blue and I've, I've got quite a bit of quotes and I'll go through and I'll find like a few quotes just to kind of give you an idea what the book is about and then yellow or just like random things things that I kind of wanted to make a note of or just things that didn't fall into the other categories and then anything that's marked in a red line I had an issue with but for example let's see um, here's a quote you get to choose everything in your life and everything you do I thought that was good let's see what else we got here's another quote Their ideas were similar on many subjects, even though they had come to the same conclusion in different ways. Right? Because people can come to the same conclusion in different ways. And let's see what this is. All you had to do was be brave enough to do it. I thought that was good. So there's a couple different quotes in here that I thought were pretty good. And all in all, I did like the book. I mean, it's, it's kind of Danielle Steely, so it's... Mm, there are some problems that will, you'll come up with and you'll just be like her writing is atrocious or you know everything just always it's like everything's like perfect and then everything's not and then everything's perfect again kind of thing like that's just the way that it goes I did feel that the book kind of rushed through um, the ending but then I also felt like it took a while to get to the ending like I, I knew what was gonna happen so I'm just kind of like can we speed it up a little bit so there's that. Um, so I'm going to get into my little spoiler section at this point. And what I do is I just, I keep a list of the chapters and then I kind of write down like what each chapter was about, like a little quick, like one sentence kind of thing. So I'm going to kind of go over that with you um, right now. So let's get into it. If you don't want any spoilers, please turn away at this point. Okay, let's go. Chapter one, introduction to three couples, Stephanie's husband dies. It's in the first chapter. Um, chapter two, funeral and letting all the kids know. Chapter three, dealing with the anger side of grief. Chapter four, Stephanie took a wrong turn and ended up in Vegas. Chapter five, taking chances and going on another advan adventure to the Grand Canyon. Chapter six, Meets Chase Taylor, cute country singer, very popular. 
Chapter 7. Goes to a concert, meets the bands, staying in Vegas another night. Chapter 8. They thoroughly enjoy each other. Chapter 9. Driving to Tennessee and feelings are starting to happen. Chapter 10. Stephanie goes to Chase's home and damn, I wish they would kiss. <laughs> Chapter 11. Yay, they kissed, but still taking things slow. Chapter 12. Michael is crushing on Sandy. Chapter 13. Visit to daughter in New York and heading back home. Chapter 14. Sandy and Michael are falling in love, but still in other relationships. Chapter 15. Stephanie was almost raped, but she's one badass bitch. Chapter 16. Back home, but wants to be back with Chase. Chapter 17. Relationship. Get rid of the old, bring in the new. Chapter 18. New relationships, new directions. Chapter 19. Stephanie is finding herself. Chapter 20. Ungrateful daughters. Ugh. A.K.A. little bitches. Chapter 21. Girls. Oh, wait. No, sorry. Kids are assholes. <laughs> Chapter 22. Girl, why are you being stupid? He loves you. Chapter 23. Brad is a dick. The kids are being nice to Stephanie. Chapter 24. All ends well. Don't be afraid to take a chance. And that's the book in a nutshell. So it was it was kind of cool. I liked it. I mean, I, I'll keep it. I would probably suggest if somebody likes Daniel Steele and wants to read a Daniel Steele book and you're kind of like, I don't know. I, th I thought this was a pretty good book. Um, this is kind of like up my alley. So, you know, like I said, I had a few problems with it. But other than that, I, I, think, it, I think it was a pretty good book. So, yay. All right. On to the next book. I will see you guys for my next review. And till then, adios, peace, hope all is well.